If you've seen the music sheet, you would probably notice that there is a figure here uh, just after the G cliff. Okay, there are two figures, the top figure and the bottom figure. Now, what, what is this? This is basically the time signature. Now, what is the time signature? Time signature is a notational convention which uh, indicates how many beats are there per bar. Now, here we have two bars. So it is basically the, uh, the pulse of the song to depict how many beats are there in one bar. Now, for example, if I have, let's say, a number of 4 upon 4, now this means that there are four crotchets in one bar. Now these are crotchets. Now why I say there are four crotchets is because the bottom uh, number is four, which means it's a quarter, it's a quarter beat, which is a, a crotchet. So it means four quarters in one bar. And, and if I have, let's say, something like three upon four, it means it's three crotchets in one bar. It would be, look something like this. And if I have a figure like two upon four, it would mean two crotchets in one bar. That means it would be something like this. So your bar would have just two crotchets. Now, uh, let's say the we have a timing of uh, 6 upon 8. Now, if it is 6 upon 8, it means it's an 8th note. It's 8th beat. So it means there are 6 quavers in one bar. So how would it be? It would be something like this. So this would mean it's, there are one, two, three, four, five, six quavers here. So the timing would be six upon eight. Now uh, to put this in uh, proper perspective to, to understand this much better, let's, let's go to an instrument. Now we'll play a song which has uh, three beats or rather three uh, crotchets in a bar. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. My pony lies over the ocean. My pony lies over the sea. My pony lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my pony to me. Well, so you've seen that this is uh, a song which has uh, uh, three beats. Now, now we'll take a melody which has. Uh, two crotchets, that's two beats in a bar. Uh, well, this is a march, I can't sing it, so I'll just hum it for you. song which has two beats in a bar usually uh, marches and something which is more you know more bumpy now we'll take a song which has uh, six quavers in a bar it's a little uh, different from what we uh, saw earlier So here you go, we've seen a song now which has six quavers in a bar. <laughs> 